My name is Sean Carter, foreman electrician for Royal Electric. Okay, so today we are going to, going to be shutting down a, a switch gear, um, which is powering some bungalows that we're, they want to pull power out of to energize a remote, a remote weight room. You know, Royal has a pretty extensive uh, program in place for energized work, which this is considered energized, even though, you know, basically the, the energized portion of it is testing to verify that everything's in an electrically safe working condition prior to us uh, putting our hands on anything in there. Well, we'll start off by notifying everyone, which we did 72 hours ago prior to this. Our next thing, we would test our meters on a live dead live test. Once we've held our safety meeting at that point, I would uh, put on my hot suit, which is a fire retardant suit. While, while I'm putting on my hot suit, the apprentice would be setting up the restricted boundary and the limited access boundary. Once those two boundaries are established, I'm in my hot suit. At that point, I would turn the power off, begin to open up the cover, and then I perform a voltage test on the gear that we're working on. Once I have confirmed that there's an absence of voltage, at that point, I will commence the work that we will be doing. And in this instance, we're gonna be running a maybe three, four piece of two inch Liquitite from a uh, external circuit breaker enclosure. And we're gonna knock a hole out in the side of the switch gear. We'll land our two inch Liquitite in there, pull the wire through. Um, at that point, I would terminate the wire inside the external circuit breaker double check all that, torque it down, and close it. Once that's closed, I'll move into the switch gear. And in this instance, I don't believe there's gonna be any available space, so we'll be tapping the bussing, which tapping the bussing just means you're gonna drill new holes into the bus bars, put chair lugs on it, and terminate the wire on those chair lugs. Um, once that's completely done, I will go back and just do a quick visual inspection, make sure everything's tight, torque down, close everything up and re-energize. Um, once, once I have re-energized power to the switch gear, then I will go downstream to the panel that we are, are have just added. I would open that up and then I have to check the voltage at that panel to make sure we have the proper voltage. Once that's confirmed, the shutdown is open. Today specifically, my role was to basically audit our qualified electrician, Sean, um, you know, part of, part of the NFPA 70s indicates that, you know, you've got, you've got your program, um, you've got to audit it, and you've got to audit the people to make sure they're following it and doing what they need to do. The information that you get from, you know, like Safety Jeff and our other safety team members is invaluable. You can't put a price on it because you can't put a price on losing an arm or a finger.